from our friends listening all over the world. Uh, let me first quote John Keat, you know, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. And being touched by joy's mentoring is indeed a blessing everlasting. Okay, today we not just celebrate our four big mentors, but also to the, all the people that they touch and surely to all the people that we've touched as well. You know, so for everyone who've been listening to this uh, the broadcast, let's give ourselves a round of applause, please. Yeah. So let me let me divide this uh, into two parts. First is an ode to joy, and the second is to an ode to her mentoring, right? Well, Jocelyn Isla, or how we call her, affectionately call her Mom Joy, right? Is a pioneer in her field. She's always been a pioneer for women uh, wherever she goes, right? She graduated summa cum laude and during that time was a PRC as a market research. And from there on, she moved into marketing. She's the first woman, uh, she's the first promotion manager ever for uh, Unilever at that time. And then she moved into marketing and she was handling the biggest brand of Unity at that time, which is Super Wheel. For people who know what Super Wheel is, is probably, we know your age, by the way. <laughs> and from there on, she moved into sales. She was the first woman ACDM, area manager at the time, handling men which are twice her age and uh, twice her size, right? Two, or three to four times her size, right? So you imagine... Uh, from marketing, you move into sales, what kind of word is that is, right? And then from there on, she noticed a big opportunity. That time, key account was start performing. So she was the first to introduce key account management in Unilever. And from there on, she became the first uh, general uh, sales manager handling all the, the major key accounts, right? And from then, handling all the global accounts. After that, uh, Mamjoy, being a pioneer in her field, she shifted career, right? Now in this world where we talk about uh, global environmental changes and talk about, talk about wealth inequality, Mamjoy as early as 2003 devoted her career in developing the community and the environment as well as part of the, the corporate development team of Unilever. So she's really a woman ahead of their time, right? When while the interesting is fact about her, she was able to do this while maintaining a balanced life, a good example for all of us. As she told us, she is first a wife. Uh, she's married to Danny Isla, who is another big hitter in the industry. If you know Danny Isla, if you like Lexus, he's the guy who brings in Lexus to the Philippines, right? She's a power couple, right? So Momjo will always remind, remind us she's first a wife, then a mom than a boss, right? And that's what makes us so respect her. She will always leave the office before 5.30 p.m., right? So that's one thing that uh, we always love about her, okay? Now, an all to her mentoring, what is so unique about Mom Joy mentoring is that if you wanna remember, one of the best mentoring style I learned is that you always have to look at the person of who, she always look at the person on who they can be, even before they believe in themselves, right? And by treating you that way, in a way that you, you will eventually believe in yourself that you can be that, right? I mean, just to name a few of the big names that uh, Mom Joy has mentored, uh, Oscar Villamora, if you know him, he's the fifth batch uh, YMMA awardee, and now is the VP of sales for URC for the local international business. Freddie Ong is Unilever Vice President of Customer Development. Doi Concha, uh, who has been like the country manager of uh, Unilever Indochina. Jay Go, uh, one of my mentees as well, who become the sales director of Unilever Malaysia. So she de developed talent, not just for the Philippines, but for the world, right? And let me end this with two stories of how Mom Joy uh, influenced, mentor, and changed my life, right? Like I said, she look at you on who you can be, right? And that means looking at both of your strength and your weakness. For me, graduating from a Chinoy or Filipino Chinese school and study engineering, my English is really, really bad. Although I don't tell anyone, she knows it. So she don't just send me into some ordinary training. She actually hired Dr. Dupes. If you know Dr. Dupes, he's a business English uh, writer, right? A really good English writer. So Mom Joy sent me for three months every weekend to have 
three hour tutoring just on business English or in plain English, right? Because as for Filipino Chinese, English is our third language, right? We start first with our Chinese language, Hokkien, then we translate it to Filipino, then we translate it to English, right? So the processing time is quite long, right? But thanks to that, uh, I was able to address that. It's always been my weakness. When, when, you, when you study engineering, we focus on the decimals. We don't care about the English structure, right? So thank you, Mom Joy, for that English lesson. And the second most important one is that uh, I always entered Unilever with a sense of uh, insecurity, right? Because I have to follow up three times before they get me in, right? And I was not hired as a management trainee. I was hired as a direct hire. But Mom Joy, uh, Carl Cruz, you know, uh, Perry Villa, and of course, uh, Pong, they never let me feel that way, right? They give me the same opportunity as a management trainee, right? And in 1999, they give me an opportunity to do international assignment, right? Which is a big thing. But that time my mom got cancer, right? So I told Don Joy, I, I should decline on the opportunity because I rather spend time with, with, my, with my mom that time. But Mom Joy, probably she knows us better and she knows life better than most people. She never withdrew the nomination. She just left it there. And my mom did pass away uh, 22 years ago on December, right? Uh, she never withdrew the nomination and, and it gives me a nice time actually that time so when my mom passed away, it was giving me a, a nice time to be able to go to Thailand and learn about the modern trade. And that really changed my career forward, opened my eyes. And now, until now, I'm pursuing an international career, showing people that Filipino can make it internationally. Yeah, so thank you very much, Mom Joy. So now, officially, I do mentoring for the, I'm the lead mentor for the NUS National University of Singapore. It's the number one Singapore, uh, university in Asia. I'm the lead mentor for the NUS MBA student. So yeah, I teach industry, I teach all the industry guys on how to mentor them, how to help them find their purpose and how to choose the career they want. And next year I'll be doing, I'll be mentoring the tech startup from the incubator of uh, National University of Singapore as well. So all this, thanks for being a good example from uh, Mamjoy Isla. So without further ado, let me introduce to you my mentor, Mamjoy. Thank you. I thank you for the privilege of being part of this awarding ceremony, the concept of which I would say is very laudable and heartwarming. Um, I would like to salute Man Smith for thinking of this and uh, thinking of, uh, you know, like recognizing the mentors. Uh, my deep appreciation, of course, to Anson de Chavez Parang nahihiya nga ako dun sa mga dami niyang kwento. Uh, he made my nomination possible and for that I am deep, deeply grateful. I am actually humbled by this nomination and recognition because what I was then and what I am now is also a product to a large extent of uh, learning from them as well. The learnings that I got from them and from each member of the team that I handled at the time. I can say that I actually grew with them, uh, learning from their youthful and dynamic concepts and insights. So in the process, hindi lang sila ang natuto, ako rin natuto sa kanila. So we, we learn from each other. We laughed together, we cried together, and they were pa patient with me during times na medyo mataray ako. So I would like to say that I really beam with great pride seeing how the youth of yesterday has blossomed and has transformed into becoming the business leaders that they are, very passionate, very vision oriented and i would say that this business leadership that they have now is probably far more than we ever had before i would like to name some names but 
in the interest of time, buti na lang Anson already named some of them, but these are just a few of the of the people that uh, have gone to great places. And um, I just want to say that they know who they are. Sa inyong lahat, kung nanonood man kayo dito o manonood man kayo sa sa ating um, broadcast in the future, um, they know that um, they they have special places right here in my heart. I thank them for all that they have been to me, and I am very proud of them, and I love all of them. Like I love my own children. Um, instead. Allow me to recognize and to honor three people who gave me the wings to fly and who believed in me and who gave me the opportunity to exploit every possibility to lead and to let me be. Um, these are Mars Aaron and Pong Ejercito when I was working in sales and customer management. And I also like to recognize Chito Makapagal, whom I worked with for quite a while when I was with corporate development and business sustainability. So it was really a pleasure working with them. And I thank them for every opportunity because I would not have been able to lead people if they did not allow me to. And Chempre, I would also like to say thank you to my husband and my children for uh, being understanding during those times that I had to be out of the house, uh, maybe on conferences and um, training sessions. And also during those times na pagdating ko sa bahay, mainit ang ulo ko. Thank you for understanding. In closing, I'd like to say maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat, sa lahat ng mga nakatrabaho ko, naging boss ko rin. Maraming salamat sa inyo. And to um, Josiah and uh, Chiki and the whole Mansmith Man Smith team, I'd like to thank all of you. Good evening. Well, evening pala dito sa amin sa New Zealand. Good afternoon sa inyo. Um, maraming maraming salamat for being a part of this. Thank you. Thank you.